is I Live Here with Fonz Chambling and Stephen Healy. I'll be with you in a moment. Fonz is actually on location. Um, and he, well, I'll show a photograph first. And if you can actually work out where Fonz is, that'd be good. Hello, Fonz. Hello, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you fine. And the picture is good too. Yeah, no. So, I haven't got no headphones today. Uh, my headphones decided, I lent them to my daughter and have decided, she's decided to break them in some way. Ah, um, right. Okay. okay. Well, right. just rest the them. Sorry? Yeah, one of the places I can show you in where I'm at, this this street, do you recognise that anywhere? Where have, you seen that? where have you seen that before? Right. Sun Hill. What's that? Well, that What's that remind you of? Uh, the bill. Bill, yeah, because I'm I'm actually standing in the street. Actually, Sun Hill got its name from. This is the actual street. I'll show you it where the bill got its name, Sun Sun Hill Police Station from. Because it was actually the man who devised it, Jeff McQueen, came from this from this location. Okay. And this is this is Sun Hill where Sun Hill Police Station got its name. Wow. Yeah, are you actually going to climb the hill? Uh, I can do. It's not that. No, you don't. Have to, after I was just jesting, I mean, it looks a bit steep. No, it's only, where... it's only a little bit in front of me. Right. It's, it's not a big hill, hill. So, but there you go. It's just houses that come. Okay. There's a bit going off down there. Right. And we say hello to Catherine. Thank you for joining us. And, uh, Right, so we're on Sun Hill. We're climbing, or Fonzie's climbing Sun Hill. I'm back down it now. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. But no, right. Sun, Sun Hill from, from the bill. So it's all yeah. based, based around here. But it's nice old buildings like on, the mm -hmm. top, on the corner. Okay, of I'll take your full screen again. There's some, and they, if I remember right, there used to be an insurance company there, uh, and my dad used to get his car insurance from, but they're, they've obviously long gone now. But yeah. there you go, Sun Hill. You're seeing Sun Hill live, where it got its name from, the bill. So that's a long-running uh, program on ITV, police series, and uh, that's where it began life. Right, okay. Now, the, the great, greater question, which town are you in today? Um, actually, there's a little sign here that says it. Um, okay. Right back to it. Royston. Royston. So, Roy, the Sun Hill come, was developed in this, this town, Royston. And, of course, like I said, Jeff McQueen. I'm trying to think of other programmes. He did quite a few big other programs he was involved with programs like Juliet don't know if you remember that Juliet Bravo as well yeah and a program in the 80s big deal as well I'm trying to think of some others but he was a lot of police a lot of police dramas before it was finally accepted for the bill but the bill the bill started off as a one-off special originally and strangely enough um the very first episode, which was called The Wooden Tops, not The Bill, featured the guy who played Pete Bill in EastEnders. Ah, I know the guy of, which you, of whom you speak. Yeah. After, I, don't, I don't know what his actual name is, but he played Ian Bill's dad. Right. Uh, Bill. And he was in the very first episode. And there was, there was a man and a woman. I'm, I'm not too... I can't remember all their names. But they, they were in nearly every episode, right up right. to the end. But it was okay. a highly successful show for a long while. That's very true. And Fonz is visiting Royston in Hertfordshire today. So you've left Cambridgeshire. Yeah. But you're not too far away, are you? You're going to have to walk down the road a little bit and <laughs> get back in Cambridgeshire. Talking from a local historian's point of view, they actually... Cambridgeshire, I cover some of Royston as well because it's that on the edge of the boundaries of Cambridgeshire that actually 
I do talks in Cambridgeshire and have done talks about Royston. So it's sort of like on the edge. So it sort of fits in both sides, really. Uh huh. It's like Melbourne. I'd yep. say it's about by car where we was last week. It's probably about five minutes away from here. Got it. And Melbourne's in Cambridgeshire. So you leave Melbourne. As soon as you leave Melbourne, you're in Hertfordshire, basically. But it's a very old-fashioned sort of town with old, old buildings. But a lot of the characters gone out of it because... And the shops. I remember some brilliant shops here as a kid. But they've all gone because... Big supermarket chain Tesco's came along and basically killed them all. Right. But if you look at these street down here, very old and windy. A couple of new buildings in the middle. Mm -hmm. I'll carry on walking down here. Yeah, being close to Cambridge, not only did I spend time in Cambridge, but also spent a lot of time here in Royston too. So it's a place that a lot of childhood memories in as well as Cambridge. And to me, like I said, because it's on the edge, it feels like it's part of Cambridge to me. It doesn't feel like it's part of Hertfordshire to me. But you can see it's original. Right, okay, and Catherine is saying, I've read about uh, Tesco's taking over in the books I read, uh, which take place in the Cotswolds. Now, how far are you from the Cotswolds, Bonds? Right, I think we're, we're losing signal. Can you hear me all right still? Uh, yeah, you're back now. All yours. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, Tesco's here. Started off with a big door just outside the city, so, um, at the town centre. I keep saying city. Uh, man painting the wall. Um, they started off now. They've also put a little metro in the town centre as well. All right. I, we've, we've lo are, you, are you moving at all? Right, we've lost signal funds if you want to reconnect. This is live video. Anything can happen. And uh, as we say in every program, the quality of the signal may vary. We're actually using uh, 4G, or Fonz is using 4G. Fonz is actually on his iPhone 6S, and uh, he's using that to tour Royston in Hertfordshire. And Fonz will be back. Three, two, one. Right, you're back Hello. and full screen. Yeah. Right, okay, we've got you, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just moved to where... All right, okay. Again, the, the picture is frozen. Right. Well. Hello. Hello. Right, you're back now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're not moving. Right. Whilst Fonz is away, let's have a look around uh, Royston. This is the high street in Royston. And these photographs in no particular order will give us an idea of what is around Royston. Uh, this is, oh, you can see the type of buildings, a uh, very Tudor style of building, uh, which has been preserved. And I'm gonna bring Fonz back and he can continue the tour. If Fonz disappears again, I will switch over to my set of photographs all about Royston in Cambridgeshire well, Royston, and uh, back to Fonz. You're saying it as well now, Cambridgeshire. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. I, that used to be in Cambridgeshire. 
but I don't know if you call it, I love these old cobbled. Right. The, again, we don't have uh, movement. Um, okay, we're going to lose font. We, we, you don't, you, the, the signal's not coming through strongly enough at the moment. Right, so we're back to our photographs and uh, I'll bring them full screen. Uh, this is typical of the buildings, so the older buildings uh, in Royston. Uh, Royston has been inhabited since Roman times. The Romans, in fact, Royston is actually, uh, actually grew up as a town. Well, Orphans is... Uh, Hello, can you hear Coming me? Back. Yeah, I can hear you. Just, right, okay. I'm just explaining that uh, Royston is actually uh, in North Hertfordshire. Yeah. And it's basically, it grew up at the crossroads of the Ermine, Ermine Street and the Ignealed Way. So it's Roman in origin. Yep. Right, right yeah. Okay. There's actually streets here named that. Um, this here angel pavement that goes through here is the 60s development but on this location here how it got its name angel pavement was from a public house right can hear you can hear i can hear you but you're not moving again and we we'll say good afternoon yeah. to kelly and uh Glad you could join us. We're having one or two technical difficulties with the uh, the signal at the moment, but Fonz is. Can you hear, can you hear me? Okay. Though. I I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. No, Carol, talking. Freeze. Hopefully, it's not on my face frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad to keep looking at. Um, but I'm standing where Cambridge was well known. Uh, Royston is well known. Uh, a big mark here. Hardly market here at all now. I'm standing in the area where the market would have been. Um, you have to let me know if I'm freezing. and I'll show you the area. Yeah, you, you, you're you unfrozen at the moment. You're good uh -oh. to go if you're going to switch the camera. Right. Yeah, Off so round, this would have been round here, so all around this area. And I'm just in a the distance there. The up is the Tesco Express. And of course, there's another, like I said, down the other side of town, just outside, and I've got one here as well, which is a bit of an insult, really, to, to rub it in a bit more. Yeah. Um, because of that, Royston's lost a lot of, like I say, they used to have their own, they used to have pictures here, grocery shops, all kinds come to the town team, they can just go in Tesco's and get all those things. And it's, it's sad. Yeah, I mean, the, the supermarkets have destroyed uh, a lot of city town centres over the years. All right, we're, we're struggling again. Uh, okay. Ponzi's going off. All right, hang on. Um, Fonzie is going off to refresh. Oh, wait a minute. Let's just see if we can get back. It's gone again. Um, and the next photograph of uh, this is rather splendid. Uh, this is on the outskirts of uh, Royston. And Fonzie is on his way back. Um, and it just gives you an idea. This is a public house um, in Royston, in the centre of Royston itself, which Fonz may well visit. So bring back Fonz. And Fonz, you are coming back. Right. Okay. I've got I've got voice, but I don't have all right, okay. All yours. Yeah, can you can you can you see that? Okay. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah. I don't see how you're parked down here because it's an alleyway. It's one of those pointless signs. <laughs> Do 
can you hear me okay still? Yeah, we can hear you. We're good. Yeah. That railway, I can see a picture of a railway station. Ah, uh, funny you should mention railway stations. There is a diesel loco going through the station at, uh, at Royston. So that's it. Well, that's going back a bit, isn't it? Yeah. I hope. If I show you... So this is this is would have been the market area here. Okay. So they still have a market here, but it's not as big. And they had a scrap. I don't know if, uh, what this, uh, the viewers know about scrap market. They used to have scrap markets here as well. Uh, they sell old scrap, and mm -hmm. Royston was quite big. But that that's that's all all gone now. Part part of the past. Right. Got a question from Catherine. Are you in the north or south part of Royston at the moment? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, I'm in the town centre. Right, actually in the middle. There you are. There's your answer, Catherine. Fonz yeah. is actually in the in the heart of uh, Royston. Yeah. I don't know if there's anybody watching who've actually ever visited around here. No, I've not been. I, I, it's not part of. The, I've never been to Cambridge. Well, I've been to Cambridge once. So, um, yeah. well, it's not. It's not very. It's not big here, but it's, it's still got some of its char more character and old buildings than what Cambridge has, really, which is a bit of a shame. Just moving along here. What I find as well is lots of food not drivers around here as well, which is a bit worrying. If you can. Okay. Hello. I can't hear you. Wave if you can hear me. Yeah, that's all right. I can't hear you for some reason. Uh, I'll try and refresh again. Uh, I still can't hear you. I lost you. Um, I'll carry on. I'll carry on. I'll carry on. I'll carry on. A few bits. If I... Right. Not sure what's happening here. I can't see you or he, you know. Uh, Can you hear me? I'll carry on. We're currently walking down. Uh, okay. I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Oh, good, right, okay. I think it's to do with signal. It keeps... But here, John Street, this building yep. here, my...
All right. right, okay. We've now got the picture. Yep. And now we're back up to the street. Uh, the street's not very, not very. All right, well, hopefully my sound is back. Yeah, now I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, here. Where it's I remember a bloke used to work here. You know, um, a bit of a, a pound shop. He used to get the bobs that you might need. Very low prices. And of course, he's gone because Tesco sell value range rather than go places like that. Where Costa's is, when I was a child, used to be a toy shop. Uh, from kiddies' toys to coffee. So it's done me all right. So I don't hold the force anymore. I prefer a coffee. So it's fitting perfect for me. And move move a bit further. Hopefully you can okay. still hear me okay. Yeah, I can still hear you and see you, which was best it's yeah. been since we started. Yeah, no, all gonna... good. Sorry, even somebody let me past here. Lads, it's like an old fashioned kind of sweet shop. They like they still got them in jars and stuff. That's been there yeah. for years. And it's pizza place here. I remember being a cafe years ago and moving a bit up, moving a bit further up here. Where the used to be a butcher's. And they used to have a, when I was young, they used to have a canopy come over it. And when I was little, I kept, can't wait till I'm tall enough to reach it. So I'm tall enough till I'm reaching it. And I used to look forward to that. So it closed before I got to reach it. <laughs> so, oh dear. Right. But we, and, yeah. Our Bernardo's back up there. So we probably won't see another Bernardo's, but there we go. There's another Bernardo's. And here on the corner used to be the bank, um, which is no longer a bank. That closed just recently. Uh, flower shop. There's a big stone. It used to be on the other side of the road where the toilets are. It used to be a. <laughs> it used to be on the other side. Right, and we've lost funds and got me back. Um, I'm going to go back to the photograph. So that's the, the actual street that uh, Fonz is walking down, Mr. Hope. And uh, this is actually, well, there's a manor in the area. Bring Fonz back now. Hopefully. And right, we're back. You're back. Sort of. Hello. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Somebody was calling me. <laughs> All right, okay. Being, being, being stopped. Um, down here, that's the cave shop, but there's a Royston Cave. You know, and then you can go down. Goes goes underground. Uh-huh. I don't know if I don't know if you found anything out about that. Looked it up. Well, the, the man-made cave. Yeah. Right. The the, the man-made cave uh, was found. They rediscovered, and it's got carvings uh, all around it. I'm going to try and skip to a better example as I go through my photographs. Uh, connection to James the Sixth and James the First. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And there we have puns with. <laughs> <laughs> right okay and the trains as well okay so um, royston has a railway station yeah it has yeah, that, that's a bit further up the other way I, that's near nearer to tesco's all right here was dominoes i remember it used to be a vacuum clean shop another thing in royston is barbers and hairdressers everywhere you're not short to get your hair cut Around here. Okay. 
<laughs> so if you have, <laughs> if you have a nip to Royston and you're worried about your hair, don't worry. <laughs> plenty of places you can get it done and nail bars if you feel like your nails need doing oh they, they seem to be all the rage at the moment yeah well uh, but royston's not a big place and there must be about five or six nail bars here yeah i mean the the, the population is about fifteen thousand, isn't it yeah yeah but his oh you still got me church yeah what I, what I love is the uh, the architecture of the churches and the fact that at, at such a small town could actually um, raise the funds to actually build such a church. Oh, definitely, yeah. Because it is, it is very, very small here. It's one of those cheap, you know, the, what do you call discount stores, discount superstore. And we've got another, another charity shop which is next door to another charity shop, <laughs> which isn't next door to another charity shop. But this, this kind of, I don't know, interesting story, funeral service place, another funeral directors, because lots of them around here. But before this, it was a wine. You know, one of those wine shops. Uh -huh. It's kind of like ironic, really, probably because everybody who went there probably got liver failure and ended up coming back here. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> so this was this was this is recently. I mean, this was a laundrette's just recent. Um, no, not laundrettes, dry cleaners. Till just recently. Yeah. But uh, that's basically the size where I've walked around. Uh, right. Yeah. You you seem to have walked out of the signal area. Can you hear me? Can, can you hear me, Fons? Yeah, I can. Yeah, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Are you anywhere near the Green Man uh, pub? I, I was near earlier when I was looking at it. That was the building where I was near Tesco's. All right, okay, and uh, Catherine is saying there's a pub around the corner called The Green Man, which I was in, a, which was in a book I read. Yeah. So you are. All right, we've got we've got sound problems. We'd like to refresh again and and come back in. Right, so it's back to me while Fonz is refreshing. Let's go back to the photographs and uh, Fonz will be back with us shortly. There is an association with James the uh, who was also known as James the First when uh, the country united to become Great Britain. Uh, and he uh, was so taken by Royston that he rented a property there for a year. And Royston has also been visited by his descendants and it is a royal favourite, as we bring back Fonz. Three. Is on Gatsby Range. Yeah. So I could walk back there, but I might just keep dropping off signal. Yeah, so c carry on as you are. We're good. Yeah. Um, well, hopefully I could show you a bit more of, of, this, of this church. Fantastic. I mean, like for a small town, is an amazing building. Okay. So walking through the gates. Yeah. It's imposing, isn't it? Yeah. It's funny because there's all these cars rushing the past over in the background. That building over there is a listed building. Um, it's come a, I think it's some kind of hotel now. But it's really, it's really quiet around here. Even those cars yeah. rushing around. And it's a, 
big church. It's not small. I'm getting some idea of the size. Um, I mean, the craftsmanship in those days, I don't doubt we could actually build such churches today. No, not like this, no. And you think they never had the technology that we had back then. So it's an amazing... Okay, a quick question from Catherine. What's the name of the church? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, check, we'll check on the way out, Catherine. I'll go, I'll go quickly have a look now. It's just right. This isn't this isn't Cambridge. If it was as far as in the middle of Cambridge, I could tell you just like that. Uh, yeah. It's funny because I should know. I go past it enough. Hang on one sec. I tend okay. to think about another thing about Royston. If anyone comes to Royston, nearly every corner's got a blue plaque on it. It's must be blue plaque central. <laughs> Right, okay, and the blue plaque des uh, indicates what? It's St. John the Baptist, Royston. Right, um, so I'll take that blue full screen. Oh, do you want me to put it back? Yes, please, just for a second. Okay, and Fonz is, is mapping the tour. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Catherine is mapping Fonz's tour. There we are. All right, well, the blue plaque thing is something somebody is connected to somebody famous or the build something happened at the building actually I'm, yeah i've just but, had a thought i just had a thought you, you're gonna i don't know whether this is an idea or not but do you have map my walk on your phone oh me yeah no i don't know Can, right okay something, something i should get yeah ba basically just just as that way you're moving map my walk will actually publicly show a route of where you're going? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah? I'll have to check that out. Okay. I never, knew, I never yeah. knew about that. Right. Okay. And thank you for that, Catherine. And uh, Catherine is mapping today's tour. And uh, I'll take you back to Fonz as he continues in Royston. Okay, brilliant. No, um, the blue plaque, it's, it's funny because the blue plaques, usually for somebody well-known stayed there, or the building, something happened at the building in Royston, They've got them. This used to be the old post office, and another right. one over up. This used to be the, the post office that was the po before it moved to down this road. So, the first, okay. so they basically got a plaque for the second post office saying this is where the old post office was. Then a plaque a bit further up saying this is where the post office was before it moved to where the other post office was. <laughs> Only in Royston. Only in Royston. In Hertfordshire. But we'll no, get that right. Not Cambridgeshire today. Not Cambridgeshire today, no, no. Uh, if you've got any questions about Royston, then please do ask. And uh, Fonz will do his best. I'll, and... see if, I'll see if you can actually walk in this church. Okay. I'll see if you can actually yep. you know, walk inside. I'm not sure. Worth a try, though. You never know. Okay. All right, we're going where... No live video show has gone before. Fonz is about to enter the church and switch around, and we're now seeing inside the church. Over to you, Fonz. There you go. Try and be quiet. I, stained glass windows are just absolutely amazing. I yeah. mean, uh, the, the technique of actually creating them and then putting them into in place, it's I mean. an art form. It is. Stained glass windows are an art form. It's like I was saying before, I didn't have the technology we've got now. Oh, no. No, true. And if, if, if a window has to be replaced, um, it's not quite the same. It's not got, it's, it's, you can always tell a new window from a an original and uh obviously that 
um, the use of stained glass windows signified that the church was a wealthy church. It's wonderful. And, you know, I mean, in the middle of the town centre, and it's so peaceful in here as well. Quiet and... You can get the perspective of the size of it from the inside. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, if you're following where we are, uh, I'm going to post a wiki for Royston so you can actually continue your adventures after the show. So there's the wiki for Royston. And as we said earlier, um, wow. Right, and can you take a look at the ceiling again, Fonz? Yeah. Thank you. Right, and I, I do you know about the Priory Gardens in Royston? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, talk about it when you come out of the church then. Oh, by the way, you should know that your signal at the moment is fantastic. Brilliant. Oh, dear. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, that's bit, you, the, that sign is on the way out, not on the way in. So Yeah, there, there, was, there, was, a, there was a guy in there anyway, but he didn't say anything. He, he just oh. quite ply actually moved out of the way and let me carry on. Right, so we're, uh, and Catherine's saying, what are the Priory Gardens? Um, I think this is um, around behind the, she means the ones behind the back of the church. Yeah. Yeah, just walking around that way now. Okay, good. There's a police station across the road, but it's not Sun Hill. No, no, we, <laughs> that's where we started our tour on Sun Hill. But we started at, uh, we started at Sun Hill, and here's the police station that's not Sun Hill. They should yeah. have named Sun Hill Police Station. They should actually put a police station on Sun Hill and name it Sun Hill Police Station. That'd be brilliant <laughs> for t for tourism, definitely. Yeah, but they don't. There's no plaque up. You know, they've got that's the strangest thing actually. They got loads yeah. of plaques up saying this was beside the post office after it come the second post office after the other post office down the road closed down sort of thing. But there's no sign on Sun Hill saying this is where. The Sun Hill got police station and the bill got its name. But here we are. This is all behind behind the church. Because uh, churches have, well, a lot of churches have land uh, that they owned, which was gifted to them. Yeah, this probably that, was. They turned it into a into a garden yeah it's like over the other far i won't go down so there's a child's recreation ground over that side but this is all the the garden side i'm walking towards where the cinema used to be now when i was a child I used to come here and yeah. with friends and watch films mm -hmm. and it wasn't a great cinema but it, it did the job they knocked it down unfortunately and built all flats on it but i show you where where that was okay in a, in a moment okay it was, it was just there in the distance on that corner and behind it was a swimming pool and the most atrocious swimming pool that house and safety i think would close down nowadays <laughs> right okay but there's a town hall over here with a blue plaque outside of it Two blue Same. plaques, actually. It's got two blue plaques on it, I've just noticed. Does it say this is where the old town hall was? Uh, this is where the town hall was after it came to town hall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's where it was. That's where they've got, they got a charity cinema, sort of like um, run by volunteers in there now, uh -huh. which, is, which is great for the kids. I've took my daughter there before. 
it's just a projector, but it does the job and keeps the kids yeah. quiet. But there's the there's the police station over there again. I'm trying to think what was there before. I can't. I think it was just gr open grass space because the police station yeah. used to be on the other side of town originally. Uh, climb down these steps. Okay. I should be alright crossing this road because it's a it's got a zebra crossing on it. Well. I'll I'll sort of distract everybody while you cross the road, and then we'll bring you back on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Fonz is in Royston, in Hertfordshire, and I'll just uh, confirm that. And if you want to know more about the uh, area around Royston, then Fonz is actually known as, and this is internationally known as the Cambridge historian. And if you want more direct contact with Fonz and to find out more about what he does and his interest in Cambridge and the surrounding area, then I just post the link, which will help you get there. I posted the link to the wiki earlier. Uh, if you uh, go to that wiki about Royston, then uh, you'll find out more information about Royston and uh, its Roman origins, because this is a very old town, grew up around crossroads between two Roman roads, one of which went from London or Londinium to York and Barakum. And the other went, this is a strange thing, the other road went across country and uh, went through uh, Royston and actually finished up in Wiltshire, which is where I am. So with that, we'll go back to Fonz who safely crossed the other side of the road. Okay, guys, a map of Royston. So, lost again. You can't get lost around here. It's not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I said earlier, population 15,000. Yeah. Um, over here is a war memorial. That's all. Unfortunately, you can't get behind. It's all been renovated and tidied up, I think. But move it back, back along this way. Okay. This is weird because this is in Cambridge. I'm so used to known about Cambridge and I'm, I'm a bit out of my comfort zone because I don't only, only know Royston by my own memories and not so much of the history but it's interesting because I'm intrigued to find stuff out now that I'm seeing so oh yeah yeah I mean the, as I said uh, consistently throughout the program it's a Roman town uh, started uh, when the Ermine, Ermine Street crossed the Eagneald Way and uh, it's grown steadily over the years. Um, and I'm just going to my notes as well. Uh, my notes. Oh, I haven't got too many notes. You're going to have to wing it because I don't have any notes. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in Melbourne. That's how close it is to Melbourne. I don't know if you can see up there. It's Melbourne. All I'm standing on is Melbourne Street. So right. Fried chicken place. Seems got its own fried chicken place. And a weather spoons. You can't even Royston's got weather spoons. Every, every single town that we know of has got a weather spoon. So it's one of the national train chain of pubs. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, we, with, it, seems the, the, it seems to be the main one, don't it? That yeah. If your town ain't got weather spoons, then you've not arrived. No, way. You want a very few. All right. Bang. All right. Fonz is uh, in Royston in Hertfordshire. And I'm going to switch back to Fonz as he continues the tour. It's even got a laundrette. Anybody want to do washing? That's the opening times. Brilliant. <laughs> That's if okay. they come to Royston. Wash and dry your duvet here. Well, now, now that's quite a claim, isn't it? If you've ever taken a duvet and tried to wash it, you can't do that in your home washing machine, can you? No. No. no you can't. <laughs> right. Uh, for the technically minded, Fonz is using an iPhone 6. And if you've got a mobile phone 
and you want to show us your town and we're looking forward to Catherine in Cincinnati uh, giving us a guided tour uh, next month of uh, the city and go. back to funds. Here's the old post office to come the second post office. I don't know if you can see from here on the wall there's a plaque that says it yeah. was the post office after the other post office. Okay. <laughs> and got some old pubs here. But my, my battery's deciding to die again. And All right. Okay. Well, we've been going for forty-five minutes, so that's. Um... Well, I've got to show you. I'll get up here, show a couple of bits up here. Okay. Um, this is just coming out of the town, really, towards where Tesco's is on the outskirts. So it's not really that much down here, but up here, here's another blue plaque on the wall. Yeah. And if we carry on, we'll find. See, so it's just over there. If we carry on. Tattoo. That's where I got my tattoo done here. Did a, did uh -huh. a good, I can highly recommend them. Uh, another one, the guard's house. There. Uh, and another blue plaque. Nice. Uh, carry on a bit further. We're bound to come. We're bound to come into another contact with another one very soon. Probably two or three of them. Right. Some, somebody just let me. Well, just going back to the, the I mean, the, the royal connection uh, with James the sixth and first and uh, his relatives. There we are. What can you read the plaque, please? Uh, yeah, the, Thank king, you. the king's buttery served at the kitchens of the old place during the reign of King James the first, 1603 to 1627. Right, okay, so that's a royal connection. That's quite an important one. It's not yeah. about the it's not about the post office. Here right. we go. And, and go, going from the sublime to the ridiculous. Well, no, I'm not going to say that. Kelly's mentioned this. Cohen was that one, yeah. Got another one there. Yeah. And okay. If I carried on, if I can look at my batteries going, there's a couple more up here. I'm trying to find the old, because I'm trying to find one of the funny ones. Okay. I know they're, I know they're up this way. Before me, right. before me, battery goes. Right. There's one across, and the question. There's one across the road I can see. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, Karen, you said a question. Yeah. Well, no, an observation from uh, from Kelly in in Sarnia in Ontario. Yeah. Uh, are there any Harry Potter gift shops? No, not in Royston. No. You'd have to come to Wiltshire for that. Uh, Wiltshire has an association with Harry Potter because part of the films were actually made. Uh, down the road from me. Over to you, Fonz. Yeah, there's another one. And I think this is one that says it was the old police station uh, before the police station moved to the other police station, before it moved to the other police station. This one coming okay, up. Okay, yep. I think that's what this one is. I'm not 100% sure. Then I'm going to have to go after that because me, me signals. Right. Yeah, well, on behalf on behalf of everyone who's been watching for the last uh, forty eight minutes, over to you again, and then I'll continue. There you go. It says. So, old, what, what's, it, what's the inscription on that one? It says "Old Police Station for Royston's Cambridgeshire Constabulary." Royston's Cambridgeshire Constabulary, which is a bit interesting. Prior to eighteen ninety. Yeah. So they had a they had a Cambridgeshire Constabulary here. Or, or, or Royston was part of Cambridgeshire. Must have been. Yeah, press why it falls on the air. Yeah, because yeah. this is a thing. I mean, we've got we've got counties throughout the UK. I'm in Wiltshire. Fonz is normally in Cambridgeshire. Today's in Hertfordshire, which are equivalent to states, really. And but our politicians keep changing the boundaries, yeah. so it's quite possible that Royce. I think that may be the yeah. case. I've got to go because my battery's going to go die any second. But Fonz, on behalf of everybody, thank you for a brilliant tour. No, we'll thanks. be back together next week. Okay, so you back over to me as uh, Fonz uh, is still in Royston in Cambridge. He's about six miles away from Cambridge. Uh, so it's taken him about a quarter of an hour to get home. To everybody who's watched us today, thank you very much. Uh, this is an experiment and Kelly's saying bye for now. And uh, as to the demographics, I can find that out for next week's show, Kelly, to find out what the age demographics are for Royston. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to Catherine who's actually been mapping our travels today and given us an idea. Uh, there's a, an application called uh, Map My Walk. 
And basically what my, my walk does is that it does what it says on the tin, it maps the walk. But the thing is you can actually display it live. So we can have the actual map of the area in which Fonz is walking and you could go to that web page. You can have both the map and the live video at the same time. Okay, so big thank you for that idea, Catherine. Uh, and well, I just closing announcements. This has been uh, the Cambridge historian, uh, who is Font, and I've given you a link to that. I am Stephen from the Live Video Hub, and I'll give you on Facebook a link to there, and post that link in. Okay, so you'll find the Live Video Hub there. And the final shout out on that side is that we now have a new page uh, where you can actually watch over a thousand different broadcasts, including this one. Uh, that's a new page on my website. And we don't have a, a live video hub website, but one is on the way. Um, there are some interesting buildings around the area. Uh, if you check out the wiki I posted earlier, that will give you more information. If you want to come on camera, all you need, Fonza's not here, so I can tell you about this right now. Uh, if I hide that, Fonza's not here. Fonz is in Cambridge, which is about 100 miles away from where I am. But I've actually got my own new mobile phone. And don't tell him, but I'm going to be out and about in Wiltshire. And uh, I'm going to be doing a segment. But I've got to practice first. So I've got my camera stand. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go out and practice uh, going live from mobile because I'm a desktop kind of guy. So I've got to get used to this mobile uh, arena. So any hints, tips and tricks on shooting mobile video would be uh, gratefully received. Um, Fonz and I will be back again at 9 a.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. in the UK on Tuesday. If you want to join us on camera, then please get in touch and we'll bring you on camera. We're looking forward to uh, Catherine being on camera with us and also uh, Linda's going to be on camera as well in the coming weeks. What we want to do is to expand this. So we started off in uh, Cambridgeshire. We're gonna go to Wiltshire and then we're gonna go to Cincinnati. And uh, Catherine's saying we should publish uh, our, a travel guide and rate places with plaques instead of stars. Good idea. Uh, okay, that's an excellent idea. We may well do that. Uh, the I Live Here guide to my town, my city, my area. It's been a blast again. As we said at the beginning of the show, the quality may vary, but as Kelly pointed out, the signal towards the end was spot on. That was when he was in central. Royston. So thank you for bearing with us if you've been with us from the beginning. Um, it's always fun doing this type of show because we never know what's going to happen. And uh, most of the time it works. Occasionally it doesn't. But today the gods were with us and uh, we got the full show out. If you're watching, uh, you just caught us now because the broadcast inviting people here went out late. And please do watch the show from the beginning. If you've got somewhere you want to visit, then let us know. We need some mobile camera. You can come on the show for 10 minutes with your mobile and talk about the area in which you live. And that's what we'd love you to do. On behalf of Fonz and myself, to everybody who's watched today, I'd like to say a big thank you and remind you that we'll be back next Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. in the UK. This has been Stephen Healy in Wiltshire in England and Fonz was today in Hertfordshire and uh, in Royston. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye for now.